Hi, welcome to Building Bridges Ministry. My name is Joe. <clears throat> uh, we are coming up on uh, Christmas. Uh, what a great celebration and time uh, that we get to reflect on God's greatest gift to us. All right, so let's go to prayer, and then we'll dive into this. <clears throat> Our Father, we come to you with gratitude and thankfulness uh, for your Son, Jesus. We are so grateful for him being in our lives, for being the guidance that we need, and the director of our, our lives. Uh, we ask that you... Bless what we learned today and use it for our encouragement. And thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm going to start off in reading and then we'll discuss stuff, okay? We are going to be in Matthew 1 first, uh, reading verses 18 to 21. <clears throat> this is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her fiancé, was a good man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a, a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he, for he will save his people from their sins. Okay, now we're going to go to Luke 2, verses 1 through 6. <clears throat> At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for, their, for the census. And because Joseph, in, Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now obviously pregnant. And while, there, and while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no lodging available for them. Okay. What? What a crazy scene we have going on here, right? Uh, you got this young couple looking to get married. Mary is presented this this uh, job per se to carry God's child, right? And what a way to start. A relationship with somebody else what what all is going on and, and now they they go on they got to go back to Bethlehem for a census and just you know what a mess what a mess of an idea you would think that you know when the Messiah was coming that it would be this grandiose uh, presentation and, and and all that stuff, you know, all the all the fanciness that would go along with God's child being on earth, right? But God doesn't necessarily work that way. Uh, God does walk alongside of us in our messes, and He can take those messes of ours. And really turn them around into a uh, a light that he needs us to shine. Um, and, and what a great opportunity to be a participant in that process, right? Uh, 
you, you got I, I've been in, in some crazy messes in my life and you're like wow how did I get here how am I getting out and and God just puts these little pieces in places and, and it's like building a little bridge to get you out of where where you're at and he does the same thing here with, with Mary and Joseph uh, he he's giving them a child to raise and I, I find it neat that God went this route rather than just dropping Jesus in at 30 years old and, and having him walk the ministry um, I find it neat in the process in which Jesus is raised as a child and goes through that whole developmental process of becoming a man and you know he's got these two human parents that are trying to raise him like a, a human child right uh, it had to been a, a unique experience for sure and of course you know you got these young parents trying to figure this all out and uh, I find it I find it very fascinating very fascinating and uh, you know we should be encouraged by this story by how messy it looks by how how just how messed up it is that even in our lives no matter what our mess is that God is willing to give us a gift to present to us in the way of salvation in the way of putting his son in our lives putting the Holy Spirit on our lives and allowing us to lean on those on, on those entities in our lives to help us get through whatever struggle we come across right so <clears throat> I guess that that is what I kind of wanted to encourage us with today is to reflect on this story and to see the gift that God had given us and to make sure at this time of year that we present good gratitude towards God for the gift that he has given us um, it wasn't a pretty gift I mean it wasn't wrapped up all pretty or nothing it was a little baby given to us who allows us to have a relationship with God and and to move out of whatever mess that we are in all right so that's our words of encouragement today I uh, want to wish everybody a good Merry Christmas and uh, be blessed enjoy your time with your family and thank you for all you do goodbye <laughs>